Okay, so I've got a little work from your phone lesson here. The first thing I want to show you, this is on an iPhone, of course all phones have these features though, is a do not disturb. So this little uh, moon here, when I hit that, no notifications will come across my screen. Um, I won't get any text volumes, like basically nobody will wake me up in the middle of the night, whatever that is. Okay, so use that when you're doing a Facebook Live. Now I'm recording using this little button on the bottom here on the right. So if you haven't seen that before, that's how you record. So now let's go to our settings and let's put in a, oopsie, I want to take you back to the beginning of settings. So you can see how to get here. Let's put in a swift key or a auto replacement. So this is just in our general settings, right? So if we go right back to the settings menu on your iPhone, it looks like this. We're going to go into general and then we're going to go into keyboard and then we're going to text replacement. So then you're just going to hit the little plus button. So now what these do is anytime I type HKA, that phrase will pop up instead and I save all of that typing. So anytime you have something you're going to be typing repeatedly or going and grabbing a link for repeatedly, instead put it in here. So I'm making the shortcut for this draw. Now, every time I type the word draw, this is going to be the automatic autofill option, okay? Now I'm gonna hit save that. So now let's go show you how that works. So let's go over to Facebook and let's show you how to schedule a post in one of your groups. Now this is my sample class group. This is where I have all of my posts um, that I, you know, that I will want to copy and share into one of my classes with timings and things. So let's just go grab one. Let's grab an easy one. Okay, here's one. So we're gonna copy this post. This is one I hadn't done yet. Let's gonna save the photos. We're just clicking the photos hitting save and then swiping. Click the three buttons at the top, hit save, swipe. All right, so if you're new to this, hit the three buttons, up, save, swipe. Never screenshot. Screenshotting, A, A, it reduces your quality and B, it makes you have all this editing to do so your photos don't look crappy. Okay, now if you missed how I copied this text, I'm gonna do it again. All I'm doing is clicking on the text in the middle and copy automatically pops up. Okay, so I'm going to copy that again. Uh, let's just, now we're just going to hit the little arrow at the top left and work our way out of here and go back to our general groups menu. Now I'm going to go into Kathleen's class. So let's go into her class and let's schedule this post. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to touch the screen and it's paste will pop up. I'm going to add my photos. One, two, three, four. I am going to delete this little sort of a thing here at the top. She did not um, have a class, so we've just gonna, we're not gonna say finish the day off with dessert. I'm just gonna do a quick edit. Okay, so now the carrot cake's not available currently, so I'm gonna have to come in here and make some edits, but I'll just do this quickly for you so you can see. Now, I'm gonna, of course, change this where it says host to Kathleen. So I'm just hitting the at and popping her up. And then instead of link, I'm not going to go find her link and copy it and bring it over here. I'm just going to hit HKA because that's what I set up as her Swift key. Now you see down in the bottom in the auto, um, you know, thing where you where things pop up automatically. All I have to do is tap that and it pops right into her class. Okay, how cool is that? Now you might be noticing that I used Bitly links rather than. Um, you know, something longer like Epicure's links, like here's Linz's link. Um, you know, it's really nice and short. So basically, I just did that so they're cleaner and neater. You don't need to do your bit.ly links. You can save any old link any old way and pop it into your class using these easy systems. Now look how fast that was to pop that into the class. So now I'm just going to hit schedule. So let's say we're going to post this on Thursday at 8 p.m. I find 8 or 9 p.m. is a good time to post. Uh, okay, so then I'm just going to hit post. Now I want to show you what you can do. So if you want to go look at all your scheduled posts, you're just going to go up to the three bars on the top, the hamburger menu, and then you're just going to go to scheduled posts. 
and then you can look through and see what you have scheduled. You can see the timing and go, okay, yeah, there's two things, good, they're not too back to back, you know. Oh, look, I forgot to update this post. It's got a little line in it. Oh, shoot, okay, I made an oops. Let me edit this, so then I'm just gonna go into here and I will edit my post. Ah, since this is a formatted post, I have to go to the desktop. Um, but if I had posted it via the mobile, I could edit it via the mobile. So there's a reminder to me to go post it. Oh, and did you see you could reschedule, right? It'll pop up and let me change the timing. Easy peasy. So I'm done Kathleen's post. So I'm just going to hit the arrow at the top left again and back out of her class. And then look, here's my other classes. Well, I can just click another class. I can just go right in here and I can do this and I can grab my photos. And then I can hit paste and I can do a, qu a, q f a few quick edits. Like imagine I'm in uh, Lindsay's class. I'm just going to put HLI. Boom, there's my host's link. A few quick edits and my post is done. How crazy fast is this? I am just blown away.